Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to my Fallout 4 Mod Spotlight series, where today we are having a look at the Cyberlight Apartments mod, which is being made by user Bloodmeat08. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is a fun new apartment building in the Commonwealth that has two different apartments available for purchase. And I gotta say, no matter which one of them you choose, they are some pretty impressive apartments with quite a few good amenities and a few few surprises along the way. They are just beautiful homes, frankly. So how do you get a hold of these apartments and where do you find them? Well, once you have this mod installed, you'll want to head to Cyberlight Apartments, which is just southwest of the DB Technical High School, which means that if you do buy one of these apartments, you do have a pretty centralized location for the map, which is something that is always very convenient. And uh, once you do come here, you will find this building. Which, uh, for your own sake, you may want to clear out some of the enemies around here as there is already some gunfire going on. Ha boy. And then, yes, you just need to go inside these Cyberlight apartments and talk with that woman we just saw walk by, whose name is Cass. And she is basically the landlord for this place, and as you can tell, she has no custom voice acting. Now, once you do get to your four choices, really the only one that has anything of value is number two, the hello I'd like to purchase an apartment if you select any of the others it just well nothing happens so let's hit two because well we do want to purchase these apartments and they'll do a little bit of a back and forth with you know again no voice acting and then we will be brought into a pretty standard shop screen to purchase one of the two apartments and here we are we have the key either for apartment eight or for apartment nine and you'll notice Holy crap, it's expensive. And this is expensive because I'm a high level character. It is actually preferable for you to come to this place earlier on in your game as at the start of the game it should be roughly around 8,000 caps as the base value but the higher your level goes the more expensive it is so it's almost twice the base price of 8,000 here and it's going to be the same price for either of them which I think is a little bit strange because uh, apartment 8 isn't nearly as large or as impressive as apartment 9 but they are of course the same price now that could just be because of my character's level, maybe, I'm not 100% sure on that, but again, for your own benefit, download this mod when you're lower in level to save yourself a few caps. But let's just go ahead and buy both of these because I've got the money, and we will confirm trade, excellent. Now before we do go check out the apartments, I just want to show off of this building, and overall, the building that we're in, the Cyberlight's apartment, is quite nice. We've got uh, lovely windows everywhere some cool art going all around the place and if we actually head up the stairs here we have another little uh, section for you to enjoy and you know try and avoid the gunfire outside from which is always good so it's a uh, you know a pretty nice building a lot has gone into making it look like a lovely apartment building just for you now there is a door over here which is useless you can't go anywhere with that and uh, yeah the only thing that is workable is the elevator here which will take us up to the top floor so if we just hit the button to head up there we go and we just wait to be taken to our beautiful new floor with our beautiful new apartments and we'll go and check out apartment 8 first as I did say that is kind of supposed to be the smaller least impressive of the two and there we go it thinks it's the ground floor which is odd because well this clearly is not. And here we are, we have a very interesting hallway that's uh, that has a very much, almost a steampunk vibe to me, which is why I think I love this so much. It is very, very cool, almost like a weird steampunk, Bioshock, almost art, uh, or uh, noir, that's what I was going for, noir sort of vibe to things. Very cool. But if we get, just head straight down the hallway from the elevator, Right here on the left is apartment nine, but we'll go to apartment eight first. And so we just unlock that and we are home to our beautiful new apartment, which does 
have functioning light switches around the place so you can turn on and off lights to your heart's content. And what is actually a useful thing, because it is daytime right now, there is a day and night cycle for these apartments. So these uh, shades with the light coming through will actually have light during the day and be dark at night, which is quite interesting. And actually, it's uh, very good we did show this off in the daytime because uh, everything's far more visible. The ambient light levels are much higher. At nighttime, you actually still need your pit boy light to assist you getting around even with the light fixtures. Let's turn off this. That's the cigar box. Nope, turn off the radio. There we go. But as for the rooms that we do have, let's just kind of go through the place. So on the right-hand side, we can open up this door and we go straight into a very fancy looking bathroom. Man, I wish my apartment's bathroom was this nice, but no, sadly it's not. Where we got a couple of useless sinks, a mirror with some ammunition in it, and a variety of things scattered around the place, and some nice drawers that do open up. I mean, well, it says drawer, but it's really a small cabinet. And also, a fun thing, these lamps that you find around the place, they're animated. You can kind of flip them around. Which, actually, did I turn on the lights in here? I did not. There we go, there's the proper lights coming on. And uh, yes, we have our animated lamp that we can flip around. There we go, beautiful. And yeah, just a, a nice little place with a beautiful bathroom. So moving on, we have right over here the kitchen area, which is quite handy. Do I need to turn on? Yes, there we go, the light switch for that. Now sadly, there is no uh, cooking stove or anything here, which I think is a missed opportunity. They could have just made this stove here an actual useful stove, but oh well, you'll just have to find a campfire or something to do any cooking. Uh, but yeah, other than that, just a nice little kitchen with a nice refrigerator for storing some things in and just random fun crap around the place. We then have our beautiful living room here with uh, quite a bit of stuff scattered about. We also do have a hollow tape player here, a TV for our enjoyment, and another green lamp we can kind of fudge around with. And of course some beautiful posters and I am stuck on something. The jump, there we go. I think there might be a little nav mesh issue down there. We've got some lovely glass doors we can open up on these things, a very cool, an assortment of just stuff scattered around the place, and yes, makes for a very nice living room. Now we also do have our office over here, which you can find a nice duffel to store some things in, as well as a safe for more storage, and yeah, just some other crap lying around the place for you to use and or grab. And uh, then if we go over here, we actually do have a fish tank, which is odd that we can drink from the fish tank. I don't know why we can, but it's uh, that's a thing that we can do. And then if we go through this door here, we come into our bedroom. Where is the light switch? There we go. Perfect. And yeah, pretty barren-ish kind of room, kind of small, but we have a nice bed. We have some uh, lovely little drawers slash, again, just small cabinets, side table, I guess, for that one, which we can open, and there is actually a new Coca-Cola in there. Nice, lovely. As well as some shelves with some whiskey and rum, it would appear, and just other things scattered about. We do have, again, just more cabinetry around the place for you to put things into, and uh, an assortment of hats for you to grab if you so desire. Always good, always good. And yes, that is really all there is to apartment number eight, and which is quite a nice place, but you'll realize exactly what I, how I feel about the prices when we now go to number nine and how much bigger it is with how many more amenities. All right, where's, where's light switch? Where is light switch? Ah, ah, there it is, excellent. I can see, perfect. Whoop, did not mean to do that, meant to turn off my light. So we'll start on the right hand side here where we open up into the bedroom. Light switch on. Again, just a nice little place with some things scattered about. We've got a, uh, looks like a few more things inside that cabinet there. We do have a walk-in closet for your convenience. Not exactly a whole lot of storage in these places, but you know what, it's it's just a fancy, nice looking home, and I guess you can just kind of plop things around on the ground, which is suitable. And yes, a nice bed for you to sleep on, always good. Now across the hall here, we have our office, which if we turn on the lights for, uh, is just a, a nice little place. Again, a few scattered objects for you to enjoy. There is a safe, yep, there it is. It's kind of hard to see there. We'll turn on my Pip-Boy light. A lovely safe for you to store things in. Another fun 
I, I, it always says drawer, but no, it's like a side table. And there we go, just a beautiful little office. The next room we have right here is the bathroom. Where's my light switch? Oop, hmm, where is my light switch on this one? Is it outside the door? Yep, there we go. <laughs> All right, there we are. So we have a lovely bathroom again. Not exactly the most uh, useful thing in the world, but we do have a mirror with fusion cells in it. Good on that. And it's just a nice place. Now, the last room we have is a beautiful little workshop, which is quite nice to have. And I keep accidentally hitting my pit boy on rather than the pit boy light. There we are. And, uh, yes, yeah, just a beautiful little workshop room with a weapon workbench. Nothing too fancy in here. Sadly, a mini nuke launcher that we can't actually grab, but oh well, what are you gonna do? And finally, we come in to our living room, dining room area, and our beautiful kitchen. Once more, a kitchen that's not exactly useful. Seriously, they should have just turned this into an actual cook stove, but oh well, perhaps in the future. I mean, that is something that could still possibly happen. There are bound to be updates for this coming out eventually and we have a variety of just you know different cabinets with things in there that we can take we got a whole selection of rum whiskey and vodka etc over here for you to enjoy and then our beautiful living room right here lovely place with again you know comfy couch and a, a nice tv for you to watch there we go but yes a beautiful player home but that's not all. Now these are the apartments. We have apartment eight and apartment nine, and no matter which one of these you do purchase, you also get access just down the hall here to this door, which is another workshop area. So we have some uh, lovely power armor stands here. We have a weapons workbench here and a chemistry station over here. Now, sadly, there's no armor workbench or a cook stove, but you know what? We've got some cool things in this place. I guess this is meant to be the garage, perhaps, question mark. But yes, a good little place, and again, you do get access to it once you do have the keys. And of course, we have a lovely window for you to gaze in upon your works. The other doors are completely unusable, and even if we go down the hallway here, again, just unusable. But still, a lovely hallway, nice apartments, and a very cool industrial garage area in here. I do quite enjoy it. Is there anything in these file cabinets, subway tokens, and soap? Lovely. Lovely. But yes, that is the Cyberlight Apartments mod. It is a pretty cool little place. Now, the apartments, I love them because I think they're just really cool and fancy looking. They may not be the most usable with not exactly a whole lot of storage options besides like the duffel bag and the safe. But still, I, I quite enjoy the place. It would be a fun one to come to just relax and enjoy yourself for a little bit as, uh, you know, you take a little bit of a solace from uh, your normal work in the outside world. But yes, that is Cyberlight Apartments. If you would like to check this out for yourself, you can take a look at the link in the description, as always. And I would definitely suggest that you go and do it. It is a pretty cool mod with some pretty cool houses for you. And, uh, oh, I should also mention that it is not yet on Xbox, but it will be coming to Xbox once it's been updated a little bit more. So for you console folks, well, at least Xbox folks, you do have that to look forward to in the future. But that is going to be it for today, my friends. I hope you all have enjoyed. And of course, they do come back for the next one. But until that time, thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one.